going on guys I uh, here to do another video um as you can see there's a box sitting in front of me with a bunch of uh, specs and whatnot well I thought you know what I think it's time to upgrade the music and sound in my car so um these just came yesterday these are the piles, PLG6C, 400 watt speakers with uh, tweeters and cross out two crossovers with two 6x5s, 400 watt speakers. These are really good speakers. Um, I had these in one of my old cars. It's not one of my videos either. Um, it's a 1986 Honda CRX and I put two of these same ones in there and these it's got a lot of bass to them these are really good speakers that's why I went with these um, I never used the crossovers because I don't have an amp in my car so but I did use the tweeters and they worked pretty well so um, I thought I'd go with these again and again these are the 6x5's so they got a rubber housing around the magnet to protect it so but up the box here so I should get your instruction manual. Nobody really uses that. Yeah, that's got a. I should probably show you that. That's got a template on it. So. Yeah. So this is a crossover. But here's your template to make sure it fits. So. Yeah. Um, in the box, you get two 6x5, 400 watt speakers. They're pretty hardy. I put them to the test pretty well, so I know they hold up to a, a good uh, pounding and sound. But. It's got a really good voice coil on it. So. And I'm going to solder these in this time. I'm not going to jimmy rig it. That's ridiculous. So. I have all the proper stuff to use. So. I'm going to do it the right way. But. These are really good speakers. Okay, so they have the PLG 6Cs, 6x5 two way component speaker system, 400 watt max with 4 ohms independent. So, and then you get your cover. So, I don't think I ever really used these last time. Because I liked them when they were open, so they could be seen. But um, let's see what else is in here. We got your tweeters. These aren't the ones you get from Walmart either. These are well made. So um, yeah, just tweeters. They swivel. So you can get the best sound pointed at you or wherever you need. So, and they're already pre-cut, pre ready to go. You get the focus here. That's the nice about uh thing about pile 
and make sure everything's pre-cut for you and ready to go. Just slap it in and go. But yeah, those are all pre-cut, soldered, ready to go. And here is your crossovers. I still have my old crossovers, so now I have four crossovers. So like I said, I don't really use these. So I know you probably should, but I'm good. But yeah, you got your your in, your tweeters. I can't remember what that is. But yeah, just look it up. Pretty sick. They're not light either, they're heavy, so but yeah, that's all you get in the pack. Um, I'm going to actually install these today. And they're to replace those ones that I have my, in my car. They're, what they're doing is, they're not holding the power that I need them to. That's coming from my head unit. Because my head unit's producing a lot of power to the speakers. So... And those speakers in my car are 200 watt per speaker. These are 400 watt per speaker. So it's 800 watts. So I'm going to run 800 watts to the back. So. Yeah. Once I get them installed, I'll give you a rundown what they look like. And... <coughs> Do a sound check like I did with the ones that I have in there, the Scotchies or whatever you pronounce them. But yeah, I'll give you a rundown, sound check, and you now I got to do the bass check. So, um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. It'll be in this corner right here. Just click it and go watch it. You'll see what I mean, but <clears throat> uh, stay tuned.